And we are back in all sampler pod. This is your boy JJ, and we got Javi over here. Hey, shout out to Chicago Bull Central. What's up, Hayes? Yo. But anyways, man, we're coming to you guys with the money in the bank participants so far and what we think of what the ladder is looking like. Okay. Javi, go ahead and start them off with. Yeah, we, we have with the men, we have LA Knight. Yeah. yeah. Santos Escobar, Shinsuke Nakamura, Ricochet. Actually, uh, Cody Rose is not gonna, it's not in that match for the uh, for for the Money in the Bank because he's gonna have a match with uh, Dominic Mysterio. Oh, so it's official then. Yeah, uh, M- Dominic Mysterio um, at Money in the Bank for some fucking apparent reason. I have no idea. He's in Maybe there. If- yeah, it's uh, Cody versus Dom. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like he's in the ladder match. No, 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 no. Bro, it's gonna be Cody I would pay versus anything Dom. to see him win and take it away from Seth. I would, bro. Oh, heat. The heat would be. Oh, up. right now there's only one spot left. On By the, the way, Raw's uh, happening as we're speaking. So guys, you know, just, just cut us some slack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's Matt Riddle against Damian Priest. Whoever wins goes oh, in. God. But oh, then God, no. officially, it's Ricochet. That's in. Shinsuke is in LA Knight, Santos Escobar, and Butch are in. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about him. So, yeah, in the women's division is uh, Selena Vega, Becky Lynch, Zoe Stark, Bailey, and EO Sky. There's yeah. one more qualifying match set to take place, but WWE has not yet announced it. That's on Friday, I think, right? Oh, Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. supposedly Roman Reigns and Solo versus the Usos have been rumored, but. Um, I don't that should know, be man. a SummerSlam I don't, match. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's gonna happen now. I think it's gonna be Roman versus Jimmy Loki. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, but then you would probably need. Then it would probably mean Jay versus Roman at SummerSlam. I don't. I don't. I have no idea. That'll this stuff is awesome. confusing already. That'll be match of the year. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. But then we have. Um, and then we have uh, for for the men. Who do you who do you think would who's your favorite to win? L.A. Knight, definitely. Yeah, if, yeah. If they don't give it to L.A. Knight, he pissed somebody off. Seriously, because yeah, he's he super needs over. It, honest, honestly, and then who knows? He he'll go for the NXT champion. <laughs> <laughs> he'll cash for real, in for man. the NXT champion. At no, this point, um, um, I think L.A. Knight is gift for TV. I think he's amazing on the mic. He's pretty good in the ring. We, you, you, if you've been watching our no channel, flaws, you know that we love LA Knight, bro. The, the only flaw that I could day see, one. The only, the only flaw I could see is that they're gonna say, "Oh, he's too old." Who gives a damn? Um, the, Roman uh, Reigns is AJ, old. He's thirty. AJ Styles is like forty-five already. Yeah. So who cares? Undertaker he's still wrestling until he was like sixty-five, until he caught Social Security, <laughs> realistically. But he's like one more like, match, damn it! <laughs> yeah, one more. He did it in slow motion and everything, bro. Like you didn't even need to edit those the matches. But yeah, that was that was sad. Honestly, LA Knight is my favorite. My second favorite will be Butch, but realistically, I, what is he gonna go for? The IC title again? <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't see him going for anything. I want the NXT UK title. Bro, it doesn't exist anymore. Bro, it got unified. <laughs> oh. It got unified. Like, oh, hold up. Oh, wait. Go, no, no. You know what? No, because we're going to get off topic and we're going to get derailed. <laughs> Tell me who's your favorite. It's no, probably my LA favorite. Knight. My favorite is LA Knight. I mean, you know that. Okay, We've been talking about him for weeks. Yeah, We've yeah. been talking about him for weeks. He should. There's no reason why he should not win. The only person, the only person, I don't even know if he won. He probably lost against Matt Riddle. The only person I that I would feel okay winning, other than Alan Knight, would be Damian Priest, because I think he needs to get also. away from these he's guys from, too. Because he's from the, the the homeland. It's it's backwards, but you get it. From, from the homeland, bro. From the homeland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. That's what's up. No, but he's but he's good. And he, but by the way, one thing they do have yeah, to stop like doing, little Poppy. Yeah, they, they they have to stop having him do these stupid promos. He's like, it's like I was watching and he's like, Man, I broke it for okay, the ego. And it's like, bro, like, what? Why are you doing that? Like, he's saying stupid. He's supposed to be this big intimidating guy. And he's, I don't know. Yo, what did he say? Yeah. And then he goes, he goes ahead and translates himself. Yeah. Porque me voy a comer una empanadilla. It's like, no. dude, like, what's wrong with you? 
So, Bobby. <laughs> so <laughs> like uh, changing the changing the topic. Yeah. Realistically, what I wanted to talk about because we were talking about the unification of the NXT UK and things like that. Why in the fuck are they trying to unify the NXT Women's Champion tag match? I mean the NXT Tag Team Champions, and then the uh, the the WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Why are they trying to unify these tag team champions? Are we not gonna have a brand split between the NXT and then? The regular main roster because like you're gonna unify them okay so then what's gonna happen with the nxc champion uh uh tag titles are they gonna idea. are they gonna get a new belt too probably apparently yeah. every, everybody's <laughs> getting a new belt they you just, get a belt you get a belt you get a belt everybody gets a belt that's like come on man like dana brooke presented with the new 24 7 title 25 25-8 <laughs> bro <laughs> they had an extra hour and extra day just for her bro exactly it's gonna be like bro but like <laughs> shout out to bad bunny but uh <laughs> um if ronda and Shayna baser wins i'm gonna be a little bit upset to be honest with you because the, you know you know how we feel about them why Actually, are you know you know what to be to, to be honest it's like i was listening to watching this listening to the podcast the other day they were saying like Shayna is much better than Ronda is in the ring in terms of pro wrestling because Ronda came in with like you know like a ball of fire she looked like she was going to be amazing but she never got better in promos or in ring she just stayed the same and it was cool because she had Kurt Angle right next to her which obviously Kurt Angle is one of the greatest of all time obviously nah, you, he's going to guide ma- her. you remember The Rock introduced yeah. her bro yeah everything like she was like and honestly in the ring she looked amazing granted when you have a when you have Kurt Angle right next to you, and when you have Triple H across you, you're gonna look great. <laughs> like no matter who yeah, you yeah, are, you have. You're gonna be a broomstick, yeah. and you're gonna look good. Yeah. Yeah. So, and she did seem like she was naturally gifted to be good in the ring. I was expecting Brock Lesnar in women form, right? I thought she was gonna be that good, but it's like she never got better. Like you look at a Ronda Ronda Rousey match from yesterday and you watch one from four years ago it's the same damn match nothing's new the same thing over yeah. and, and over and over, and over. at least shane is pretty good I, I'll, I'll give shane some credit because she is pretty good uh and, and i do think that they have messed around with her character her i do think that in that in the royal rumble on the microphone i prefer yeah, listening but, but to f- dana brooke on the microphone matter of fact give <sighs> me a shotzi on the microphone no, over these two. No, no, no. They are terrible. No, they yeah. need a manager. Just bring a manager in. Somebody, somebody. You know what they're going to do? You know what they're going to do? Since Jay Uso is going to stay in the bloodline, uh, Paul Heyman is going to go and uh, manage them. <laughs> and after two weeks, he's going to be like, fuck that. I can't even say <laughs> this. He's going to be like, I'm out, bro. Brock, yeah. Brock, are you hiring? Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be kind of like with he was with Cesaro. I need a job. Like after, after a while, he's like, uh, can't do anything more for you, bro. If I can't help you, nobody can. So nah, he'll probably know. he'll probably go to Theory, to Austin Theory. No, nah, Austin Austin has to grow on his own. I think he's he's gonna be good at promos. He, he I mean, he's only like 24, 25 years old. I'm, I mean, if I hear one more fucking time that he say because I beat John Cena, bro, <laughs> like. <laughs> Let it go. You're sounding like Cody Rose with finishing the story. Like, let oh it go. Oh my God. Can you imagine a program between them two? Hey, what do you want to talk about today? <laughs> and then he brings a dog and the Puerto Rican flag for whatever random reason. And then you have a theory. I beat John Cena. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Nobody cares. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. But uh but yeah, but but honestly but I think it, but I think you're right. Um now I, I, I do think that Shayna should have been a monster. They 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 missed the opportunity in the twenty twenty Royal Rumble. She should have beat Charlotte. She should have been the one to win. She should have turned into a monster. She didn't even have to talk. All she had to do was kick ass and she did a great job. But that that was it. Now Last week, when they faced uh, Katana Chance, and I forget the other girl's name, I forget her name, th- those two made Ronda and Shayna look like amateurs. 
they look like the rookies. Of course. Like, they look like the rookies. And they've only been good in the NXT ring. for like, like three those, years, bro. Yeah, but those two are really good in the NXT, in, 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 in wrestling. And yeah. one of them came from fucking Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Yeah, she used to be. Uh, imagine she used to what's be her Ricochet's name? Last girlfriend. Last name Carter. Last name Carter. No, that's a Kane Carter. Kane Carter is the other one. The one that was in Ninja Warrior was Katana Chance. Oh, so now you remember their names. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said Kane and Carter. I'd forgotten about her name. I know Katana Chance because I forgot her real name, though. But I saw her. I actually saw her in Ninja Warrior. I used to watch that show a lot. But that was, that uh, was she used cool. to be Ricochet's. I always thought it was fake, honestly. But no, no, no. She, she, she was Ricochet's girlfriend back in the day. That's good, man. Yeah. Could you imagine being in the hotel room under them? Bro, crazy. That would have been like, like Circus Soleil, bro. Yeah. That's what the, that's, 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 <laughs> yo, if they're not hanging from the ceiling or something like that, they probably ain't happy. Like, it's probably not hitting the spot. Bro, that, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't yeah. even know where to go with that. But <laughs> moving on to the women's money in the bank uh yeah. so we mentioned there is selena vega becky lynch bailey eo sky and zoe stark there is one more person who do you think it's gonna be i have absolutely no idea because charlotte is gonna have a match with oscar which that pisses me off too yeah uh, Rhea ripley doesn't have an opponent yet right no i don't think so the most her run her title run is, has been terrible well but it's not her fault they haven't given her opponents Partially. it's not her job but it's anyways. not her job to go out there and look for opponents so but anyway so then um, you have the EST potentially which this could turn help heel, her please turn heel this, turn this heel, could help her it. turn heel this could help her turn heel she's so close so close so close and then she loses to EO Sky. I was just I was just thinking like who the fuck is gonna win. But uh I'ma say EO Sky is my favorite for this. Um as much as I love Bailey, um I don't think it's gonna I don't think the Bailey and Becky Lynch story has finished. I think that we're gonna get something else at SummerSlam at Bailey versus Becky. But uh it will start if EO Sky wins and we get what we've been wanting of Bailey breaking up from damage control. But, okay. Um, Honestly, I'm I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn here because I do think that if you're gonna give somebody a chance, if you're gonna give Selena Vega a chance, it's gonna be now. Kind of like what happened with Liv Morgan. It would be kind of one of those runs. It's not a dominant run. It just. Sorry, guys. But anyways, <laughs> I do see her. Uh, I do. If they're going to do it, it's going to be now. Uh, Becky, she's I mean, she's always in the hunt, but I think it'd be boring. Bailey, I, I don't. I would like Eel Sky to win. She would be the one I would pick. But I think Bailey is going to hold Eel Sky from winning because she's going to be jealous of Eel. And that's you. how they're going to bring him up. And then Zoe Stark, she's just there. She's, she, I guess she's going to be there to kind of try to keep Becky Lynch from winning. I have no idea. I really don't. You would have thought that Trish Stratus was going to be on this. I would have rather had Trish Stratus than Zoe Stark. Honestly, it's more star power. And don't get me wrong. like Zoe, There's not, nothing wrong against Zoe Stark. But she just, she just got here she yesterday. Got yeah, yeah. She just got How here. How is she like going to get a shot at the title like right off the bat? You imagine she wins. I'll be like, bro, this is the next Cody Rhodes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Cody Rhodes goes over. Matter of fact, him. Cody Rhodes is going to be the last spot for the women's, uh, women's uh, money in the bank. He shows up. You're like, what is that? Brandy this, Rhodes shows up. We're like, is this a inner, inner gender? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, but honestly, like I said, I, I'm, Mm, it's it's hard, man. This one actually, to be honest with you, is even harder than the men's. I'm gonna go with Eo Sky. That's my final thing. And then Bianca's probably gonna be the last spot, and she's gonna lose, and she's, and she's gonna, gonna be she's gonna start turning heel towards this. Which I like it because I I don't I don't know if it's just me, but I even the way she dresses has changed a little bit. 
the the never mind. I was gonna say something, but the I I, I got you, bro. I got you. But um, yep, exactly. personally, it's not very appropriate <laughs> for kids. I'm just saying. Uh, but um, I saw on Twitter somebody was like, "Oh, is this what you guys want? The IWC just wants the uh, Bianca Belair to be a heel." And it's like, "Yeah, she's yeah. a better fucking heel than a babyface." So, Absolutely. Like, what are you talking about? I mean, she's great as a babyface too. Don't get me wrong. She's great at either one, and that's and that's one of her biggest talents. She's, she could play either one. She's more natural with that attitude. She's honestly, she's obviously not on the mic, but she's almost like the female version of The Rock. No, you no, wait, 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 listen before you go because no. The Rock can be a baby face that everybody loves him, but then all of a sudden he turns heel, but he's still cool. You still like him because he's The Rock, he just has that natural charisma. No. And Bianca you know does she, have a lot of charisma. Who you know she who you? she reminds me of? Who? Chad Gable. Oh my God! Why Chad Gable of all people? <laughs> Bro, yeah. Chad. He's good in the ring, which she is. Oh, then on top of the then on top of that, he is can be loved as a heel Chad and can be Gable. loved as a babyface. Bro, Chad like, Gable. <laughs> yo, Bro, don't Bianca. Bro, you're making more, it seem like Chad Bianca Gable is, more is bad. Cool. Bianca has more charisma in her pinky fingernail than Chad Gable Get has. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, Chad Gable, Chad, Gable, Chad, Chad Gable is Chad great. Chad Gable is great. Chad Gable is great. I, lo I love Chad Thank Gable. You. That's fun. That's like, funny. Okay. Whatever it is. But in terms of charisma, in terms of real charisma, My, yeah, one thing charisma. is comedy. The last person with charisma, charisma is important. Christian. I did not freeze. That was for real. <laughs> Bro, seriously. Why? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you got me on that one. You seriously got me on that one. Yo. You seriously got me. Like, Yo, I didn't know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, finish him. That, that's basically what happened, bro. Yo. That Anyways, was finish him. Mo moving on. Moving on. So, moving on from the women's. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> moving on from the women's uh, money in the bank. We are going to be talking about Asuka got a new championship belt. Technically, this is the same belt as Roman Reigns, except Roman Reigns has plenty, plenty, and plenty more gold. Wait, those words don't go together. But it has way more gold on it compared to the women's. Uh, because it's bigger. Yeah, but the back of it is the back of it is plated in gold. The other one is not. The other one is literally the WWE champion, they except ran, the, the except the WWE. Lawn. The WWE is in black. They ran out of Krylon. Look, no matter what, the women, the the SmackDown champions, they look ten times better than the than the Monday Night Raw champions. In my, I think opinion. they all look. Like, they all look like crap, honestly. To be really honest with you, I don't like the new ones. E either of the new ones, they we all look kind of the the. The Ro Roman and Oscars look boring, and the other ones just look like the regular big gold belt, and they and they had a growth on it. Bro, like they just, yeah, nah, it, bro, they just put a sticker on it. They just say, yeah, you tramp know stamp what? on it. That's There's basically what it is. Enough. It's yeah. terrible. Like uh, neither one. Even people on on the internet, they put some amazing belts. Like the one, like the one I showed you, the one with Roman Reigns logo. Obviously, he doesn't use that logo anymore. That looked clean though. That looks yeah, super does. clean. You know, Super for Roman nice. Reigns, they should have just put an island. <laughs> the Puerto Rico title? Shit. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, bro. Matter, <laughs> matter of fact, a big ass chili pepper. Like, just put, <laughs> just put it on an angle. But anyway, <laughs> so Rhea Ripley gets also presented with a new woman's champion, which technically is the same thing as Seth Rollins, except smaller. It's the kids' version. In white. I think it's both so titles look better in white. Uh, I kind of like him better in white. I like uh, me personally. I just to me, bro. If they would have made the title all black, everything, bro, I would have been a hundred. Uh, ouch, shit. They're... I would have spent my check on there, which yeah. you already know how much that was. So it would have covered a, a portion of it. But yes. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I really, I really girl? didn't, I really didn't I like either one. I honestly did not like either one. But, but anyways, our last thing we have 
Scarlet. How do you pronounce her last name, bro? Because I'm Bordeaux. Ha, it's gonna have an ing ring <laughs> match <laughs> with your boy coming out from San Juan, Puerto Rico. No. Karrion Cross, the goats of all goats. He is more of a goat than Michael Jordan. I'm just waiting for lightning to hit you. Seriously. <laughs> I actually, if you want to finish talking, I actually got to go and make my peanut butter and jelly sandwich because, like, <laughs> I don't have anything else to say about this shit. <laughs> like, no, the I'm, only, the only important thing about this is that Scarlett's actually going to make her debut because nobody cares about Karrion Cross. Which it wouldn't shock me when they get rid of people, which we're still waiting because they normally have the spring cleaning. He's still there. It's, something's going said, on. They said uh, July, I think July, August. Oh, so they extended it then, which is yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, we don't want anybody. To, yeah, we don't want anybody to lose their spot. That that's that's fine. But let's be honest here, nobody cares about Karrion Cross. I mean, my paso. No, nobody cares about Karrion Cross. Scarlett Bordeaux. She's better in the ring. She's a better character. And people care more about her than they do about him. In fact, what happened? What happened when he came out without her uh, a few months, uh, like what, like two years ago, when he first got let go? Nothing. Nobody cared about him. He came out with a gladiator mask. Well, that, that is true. Enough it, didn't, it didn't help either. It didn't help either. But now he came back with that hair, which is weird. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna say Iron Sheik uh, passed away at age 80, not 81, like everybody else is saying. His biographer actually said that he he died at 80. You know, though it doesn't matter. He was very influential. Honestly, he's the first wrestling figure I saw in my my life. My cousin had it, Iron Sheik. I saw him in the cartoons before I even saw him in a ring. Uh, he was extremely influential. Probably the most important heel ever. When you really look at how whatever how everything that happened and his stories are insane. Uh, also, he Randy is Orton. proof that he is proof that WWE back then worked. You do yeah. that shit now, it gets canceled instantly. No, and he's like, no, I'm not shaky, baby. <sighs> and <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, um, next to him and to his family, um, big loss in the wrestling community. He had a great life. He lived, he lived hard, he played hard But hey, he, he made it to 80 Can't complain Alright guys, so Just uh, remember to like and subscribe Peace